an inheritance gained hastily at the beginning will not be blessed at the end. My name's Arthur and I thank you for joining me as we share the scriptures again, focusing today in Proverbs chapter 20 verse 21, the wisdom of Solomon. An inheritance gained hastily at the beginning will not be blessed at the end. Recall the story Jesus told of the prodigal son. He thought that it was time for him to leave, not be in the shadow of his father or his older brother, but to take his inheritance and go to a far country and make his own life. No doubt he had grand expectations that this large sum of money, this inheritance, would establish him and he would be happy and content. But it did not turn out to be so. He never actually got around to investing that money. He just spent it on riotous living, on having a good time. He found many friends who helped him spend that money. But after a while, the money ran out. He could no longer pay the hotel bill. He was out on the street and a famine came upon the land. There was a shortage of food and he found that his friends had nothing to offer him. They were not going to pay him back for the good time that they had had. And so he searched around and found a farmer who would allow him to stay there. The farmer would let him sleep in the pigsty with the pigs and feed the pigs. But even then we're told nobody gave him anything. He wasn't actually being paid. He looked longingly at the food that the pigs were eating these hard, inedible husks. Eventually, he came to his senses and realised, what have I done? There are people who are working for my father and he is looking after them. He is providing shelter for them. He is providing food for them. They are happy. And here I am in this miserable state. The only logical thing for me to do is to see if I can get a job with my father. I know he looks after his servants. He will provide for me food and shelter. And I don't mind working for him. And so he left the pig farm and headed home. Walking the long journey. But his father was looking for him. The father was waiting for him. And when he came with his apology, I have sinned before God and before you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son, but make me as one of your hired servants. The father said, This is my son. Bring some sandals for his feet. Let's put a ring on his finger to show he belongs here. Let's put some clothes on his back. Let's kill the fatted calf and celebrate. For my son was dead and is alive again. In that story, the young man took his inheritance, but it was not blessed. It didn't grow. It was wasted away. But in that process, he learned humility. He learned that he needed to go back to his father and say sorry. And the father had a place for him to work in the business. But he was not a hired servant. He was still a son. So often we make our own plans and we we think that money will solve all our problems. Well, God grants some of us money and some of us don't have money. But money is not the answer to our needs. There are many proverbs that warn us that money is not the answer. Paul emphasised, says Timothy, the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. If we have money, we are not to love it, but rather we are to use it for the glory of God, that we give to those who have need. For that's the whole purpose. God gives some people riches that they might be channels of blessing, passing that on to others. For God orchestrates the whole the whole orchestra, as it were. And different people have different roles in that society. But everyone is important 
in their own particular role. Well, coming back to our proverb, an inheritance gained hastily at the beginning will not be blessed at the end. Absalom was keen to take over the role as the senior son of David, the role of king. It was his right as the oldest son, at least that's what he believed, and so he set about to unseat his father. And he succeeded. He drove his father out of the city. He came in and was proclaimed king. But God did not bless his kingdom because he obtained it illegally. He obtained it by subterfuge. He obtained it by rebellion. He didn't respect his father, but rather he cursed his father. At the end of that story, he was executed and his father was reinstated as king. An inheritance, even a kingdom, gained hastily at the beginning, will not be blessed at the end. But there is another king to the house of David, the Lord Jesus Christ. And he was born king of the Jews. He proclaimed himself king of the Jews by riding into Jerusalem on a donkey just a few days before he was put on the cross. So he didn't gain his inheritance. He put in his claim, as it were, but he never raised an army to take the kingdom of Israel away from the Romans. He came simply as a servant of the people that he was to rule, to serve his inheritance, to work for God, always doing those things that please the Father. And so he hasn't gained his inheritance hastily. Even now he is waiting for it waiting for the day when the kingdoms of this earth become the kingdoms of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are promised to him, but they have not been hastily gained. In Philippians, Paul says, Fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant, and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Here we have Jesus inheriting everything, the name that is above every name, that is, the master of the universe. Every knee, those in heaven, those who worship God, those on earth, maybe those who are undecided. Some of us worship him and some of us do not those under the earth, those who have died, everyone shall stand before the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone shall bow his knee before the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone shall confess that Jesus is Lord and glorify God the Father. This is the inheritance that Jesus has, but he has not gained it hastily. He is waiting patiently for it. He will be blessed in the end. And those who serve him now will receive their inheritance when we stand before him. An inheritance gained hastily at the beginning will not be blessed at the end.